So the other day I was thinking how last year there were all purple flowers and this year somehow I don't know why these are very different than last year these are all blue and of course the yellow ones are like dandelions so dandelions are always there but look at these flowers in our backyard we mowed the lawn just now like not even uh, I think a month back but everything grows very quickly look what I brought from downstairs let me flip the camera and show them to you nicely how gorgeous are these look at them <laughs> I love them <laughs> Look at this gorgeous tomato from our garden shaped like a heart and can you see it doesn't have any seeds so it's a salad tomato and they don't have any seeds only pulp amazing and really tasty do you remember this bread that I made before we are getting ready to eat and today we will be eating some chicken and some peas with bread, some salad, and some peppers. Today's shopping. It's a um, golden hour, and look at the space. Just how gorgeous the sun is when it's the golden hour. Let's go out. Oh wow, who says Europe is not hot? Look at the sun, everybody. So this is how it is, life of a mother. Uh, took a shower at 10.30 or maybe now it's 11. Now editing my videos, eating some fruits. Finally, baby is sleeping. We have some time before she starts yelling again. Let's get to it. So these are all the tomatoes from our garden. Can you see? <laughs> How beautiful are these tomatoes? And they are so freaking big. Look at this one. How big is this? Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights We had planted just two, three I think two or three plants of strawberries And now my husband picks up strawberries for me every morning And uh, they have done so many strawberries throughout the season even here and you know what i don't know how 
can you see the plant is spreading everywhere it's like i don't know it's going wild this strawberry can you see even here near my feet here here so all of these even in there can you, can you see this okay, so it's a it's a spread a lot oh wow it's even doing strawberries here can you see two small strawberries so yeah it's spreading like something hmm. good for us by the way but yeah i don't know i didn't know that strawberry plants were so hardy we have some cherry tomatoes as well like last year but mostly we have these big ones the heirloom tomatoes that are getting ready every day and we are processing them making a preserve for winter so that we can have nice big tomatoes good salsa even in winters whatever remains of the apple tree is here as i told you i didn't eat a lot of persimmon last year because the doctors advised me not to eat them the persimmon and the dates both the things i didn't eat but this year i am really really looking forward to eating a lot of persimmons because i love them and then finally we have this beautiful tree full of pears we're gonna eat them and we're gonna jar a few of them then we can eat them all through the year i really wanna know really wanna know Frittata, it's not the most gorgeous looking frittata, but trust me, it's good. I already tasted it. Here is a little bit of salad and eggs and bread and cheese. So this is our dinner. Buon appetito! It's very nice actually, you know, because um, the zucchini is so soft and fresh, like it's from it's homegrown first of all it tastes different hmm? mm. yeah, here you go everybody even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high there are much more than this and we have boiled the pulp of the tomatoes removed the skin and now we will jar them dobbiamo mettere in vasetti quando bolle we have to put them in the jar while it's boiling mm. so she is saying that she put these bottles upside down so that the cap is um, heated by the heat of these tomatoes and it is vacuum sealed she has sterilized all the jars and it's very important for you to sterilize them if you don't want the tomatoes to go bad so as, well, as i was saying we have done a lot of tomatoes even last year and they lasted us all like a winter and also here yeah, is a machine where we are drying some tomatoes and we put them under some spices and oil and they are very tasty they are like pickled tomatoes So here they are one by one upside down and automatically getting sealed by the vacuum and as I told you if you want to check if they are vacuum sealed or not you will notice a little inside like this if that's inside that means they are vacuum sealed if it's still doing this that means they are not sealed so you have to kind of boil them uh, in a water like that's another process but yeah that's how you vacuum seal them so that they don't go bad take me out to california take me out. look what i got a shower gel so excited to try this and if it turns out to be good 
you can actually buy it so i have uh, tested a lot of products like this that they gave me as a sample and trust me they were so nice i am kind of you know now purchasing some of them every now and then so yeah let's test this one out and see how it turns out Today's lunch is um, pasta with tomatoes and tomato sauce and uh, there is some parmesan cheese. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. I feel the day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies And all the while trying to pretend the promised land was there beyond the great divide it's 12 at night and it just started pouring and we were waiting for the rain especially you know, i was waiting for the rain since two three days Hi everybody, today's lunch is pasta with chicken and this chili paste that my husband has made for me. He made it last year, he made a lot of jars. So I am wrapping them up one by one and it's very very tasty. It's like the kind of chili pesto you get in the market. It's very nice. So here it is. Buon appetito! So tonight we are eating this fish, I cooked a few already and then we have a little bit of prawns. So what we do basically is we buy the fish, clean it very nicely and just dip it in a little bit of dry flour remove the excess flour and fry them that's it so here we have some prawns and fish and the last one of them are cooking now see you at the dinner table So here is our dinner, prawns and fish and a little bit of beer. This and is the best beer, this is, German beer. I didn't understand, is it a snack or is it a, it's, it says it's, pane? It's pane carazao, which is kind of roti, cooked differently. Oh, so it is a kind of bread, right? Yeah, yeah it is bread. Oh, one of our actresses, Indian actress in Sicily or somewhere, she was like, ah, oh, dying over this Sicilian bread. And it was like very thin, yeah. like this, and she was eating it. Yeah, you, you would like to taste it. Just a small piece, maybe. Yeah, it's, um, it's basically a very thin uh, layer of uh, bread mm -hmm. cooked in the oven. And they, they do like a balloon, mm -hmm. like a roti. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they cook, it's very dry, huh? It, oh, wow. it can last forever. <laughs> oh, so it's like the thick dried bread, but it's a thin dried bread. Dry. Mm, it is actually dried roti, you are not wrong. Just that it has a hint of salt or maybe it is fermented. Yeah, it is fermented. Very nice. If any of you is interested, it's called Pane. Carazao. It's for, from Sardinia. It's bon appetito everybody. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. We are in a beautiful countryside everybody and there are a lot of farms. Uh, so we're gonna stop somewhere and I will show you how big the farms are here. There are peaches right now and grapes. What else is uh, growing right now? Basically everything. Basically everything because it's like the summertime and all the fruits are ready. So we will try to get a glimpse of what's ready in the farms. Let's go. You 
always said we were the good ones mm-hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie mm-hmm. We have taken our first pit stop And look at the grapes So here um, near our town are very small suburbs where everybody farms so there are for miles and miles there are different type of farms this one is a vineyard and they have black and green grapes you can see far away to the other side there is this vineyard and on the other side also if you look up there there are also a lot of vineyards look at this quantity of grapes look at these grapes they will they are very small right now but uh, they will be ready very soon so a lot of people make wine here and a lot of people have vineyards which is the most common thing and then we have even peaches and apricots apples other type of fruits that are growing right now and they will be ready in a few weeks i guess because now summer is at its peak and everything is flourishing look at these beautiful apples This one is an Indian kid. He is all competitive, trying to hit the other one. Let's go. Look at these peppers. Can you see? It says they are fiery hot. This love has never been stronger. Always my favorite section. I'm up in the clouds when you're around. harder and I'm falling down down I'm falling down